Hi, this is Mark with QuixVenture.com. In this video, we're going to download and install Raspbian onto an SD card on our Windows computer so that we can use it in our Raspberry Pi. What you need to do is get a couple of files, make sure that you have an SD card and that it's recognized by your Windows computer, and then you're going to run an application that will lay down the image onto the SD card. The first thing we need to do is get the image itself. You go to the raspberrypi.org website, click on Downloads, and then scroll down until you see Raspbian Wheezy. You want the first one, and you can use the direct download or the torrent. Next, you need a tool called Image Writer for Windows that will allow you to lay down the image onto the SD card. Download, go to the, uh, just search for it, and it's at launchpad.net, and it's Image Writer for Windows. Download the tool, and then when you have it on your computer, it's going to come as a zip file, Win32 Disk Imager Binary, unzip it, and run the executable. After running the executable, you'll have the Win32 Disk Imager interface. You need to browse out to the Raspbian Wheezy image file that you downloaded. That also comes as a zip file, so you'll need to unzip it and then uh, point right to the image file itself. Next, you select the device, which is your SD card. And in my case, it is the G drive. And then click Write. It's going to give you a warning message saying that if you did anything wrong here, you're going to overwrite or damage uh, device. But since it's just an SD card, go ahead and hit Yes. The process will take a couple of minutes to uh, finish. Uh, the image itself is a couple of gigabytes, and so at 10 megabytes per second, it's going to take, you know, a couple of minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and be right back. And we're back, just about to finish. The write is successful, and now your SD card has been written with the Raspbian image that you downloaded. Use the uh, standard uh, unmount or eject tool in Windows to unmount the SD card and then take it and put it in your Raspberry Pi and turn it on. When you do that you're going to be presented with a uh, setup configuration screen on your first boot and uh, the next video will cover what to do there. Thanks for watching.